one last question here of what is the pH? So what is the pH of, again, the same concentration, 0 0.100 molar. This time we are looking at a sodium hydroxide solution, so a strong base. Okay. Start out the same. Okay, we have NaOH plus H2O. Here is one of the, these examples where showing the full equation of how it's interacting with water uh, gets a little tricky and it's not as simple and doesn't look as pretty. So instead of showing how it's going to interact with water, we're just going to show how it's going to split apart. Okay, and again, remember we can do that because we know as chemists that water is there, um, but this is just a little easier to visualize and kind of use with how we've been solving our problems. So, ICE table again, 0 0.100 is our starting concentration. Our change is known because sodium hydroxide is strong, so all of it is going to dissociate, all of it will react, so we'll end up with zero here. And then our key is our concentration of the hydroxide ion is 0 0.100. So then we want to calculate our pOH. We'll take the negative log of our concentration of a hydroxide ion. That's equal to 1. And then we take 14 minus 1 is equal to 13, which is our pH of this solution. So these last uh, four videos have shown you okay, how I can ask essentially the same question and just changing the compound changes how you have to solve for that problem. Okay, All of these questions started out with what is the pH, what is the pH, what is the pH? And I kept all of the concentrations the same, we can change those as well, but I kept those all the same just so you can see how uh, drastic or not drastic of a pH change we can have. Okay, so. Here we had strong acid, HCl, that was a pH of 1. Acetic acid, okay, that's a weak acid, that had a pH of 2.9. Our pyridine, okay, that was a weak base, and that had a pH of, check my nose here, 9.13. And then our pH of our strong base was at 13. So definitely worth practicing. First question you always want to ask yourself is whether or not it's strong or weak. Okay, then ask yourself, is it an acid or a base? And if it's weak, you have to determine if you need to use Ka or Kb. If it's a weak base, you need to use Kb just like for pyridine, so you're probably going to have to solve it from Ka. If it's a weak acid, generally Ka will be given to you, or you'll be expected to know that you have to look it up in a table. Okay. Ka values would definitely be given on an exam. Um, on an exam, if a Ka value is not given, uh, you might want to consider that it's a strong acid or a strong base. Okay but definitely worth working, working through as many problems as you can um, so that you can get these different processes under your belt um, and that they're second nature.